Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I'm Patrice. Please look at the other content. If you enjoy that content, please be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel. For my returning subscribers, welcome back y'all. So today, I will be subbing onto these tumblers. Now, one of my suppliers actually sent me some samples of these tumblers to try out, and I am going to test them out for the first time. These tumblers are glow in the dark tumblers, and I have not subbed on these yet. I have seen them around, I have seen others sub onto them, however, I have not subbed onto them. So, today we will be trying these out and seeing how they sub. Now I'll probably just sub on one of them and I think I'm going to sub on to the white tumbler. So yeah and if you are interested make sure that you leave a comment below um, and I will probably share these with you guys if it comes out good. Alright so let's get started. All right, guys, so I have our image already printed out, something very simple. I printed um, out my Crafts and Combos logo, and I would love if you all would join me on Fridays at 7 when I go live with Crafts and Combos, and it's really just about questions and answers and or crafting something for the evening. So I am going to cut this out and I'm going to cut off all of the edges because I don't want any ink that could be lingering around getting onto the cup. Alright, so the cup is already cleaned off. And this cup has a matte finish, okay? So really, once you clean your cup with alcohol or anything and you let it dry, you don't want to touch it. You want to try to reduce the amount of times that you're touching it because you may have oil or anything else on your hands and you don't want that transferring over to the cup, okay? So I am going to first make sure this is right side up and I am going to wrap the cup. This is not an all over design so I'm not really concerned with uh, the placement or how it looks. I just want it. I don't want it to be too far down or too far up and that looks like it's going to be perfect. So I am just going to tape the seams with heat tape And then I'm going to wrap another piece of butcher paper around the cup. And then I will put shrink wrap on. I do want to make sure that these edges are down. And as I'm doing it, I am pulling this as tight as possible. Because I don't want any air bubbles to be or air pockets to be underneath the image. Okay. I'm going to put a little piece right here. Alright guys. 
Alright, so I have the butcher paper and I am going to wrap this with a little butcher paper because you don't want, if you are using shrink wrap, you don't want that shrink wrap to make contact with the actual tumbler. That's where you will get the shrink wrap baking into your tumbler. Okay, so this is more so as a protective barrier for my tumbler because I don't want to mess my tumbler up, y'all. I'm going to use a shrink wrap. I'm going to use the butcher paper. And then I will apply the shrink wrap. All right, y'all. So now I have my heat gun and I am going to get ready to shrink wrap our glow in the dark tumbler okay and remember I applied the butcher paper because I did not want that butcher paper making I did not want this shrink wrap to make contact with the tumbler okay so I am going to shrink wrap All right, guys, so I'm done shrink wrapping our cup, and it's nice and smooth. Now I am going to get ready and place this inside of the convection oven for uh, about five to six minutes, maybe less because it's not an all-over design. So I could probably even do four minutes for about f at 400 degrees, okay? All right, guys, so now we're at the convection oven, and I am going to place this in. I have checked the oven thermometer, and it is very important to use an oven thermometer inside of your convection ovens or whatever you're choosing to heat your tumblers up in because you need to make sure that the heat is what you want it to be and it's not higher than what your dial says, okay? So I'm going to... Stand this up in here and I do have a Teflon sheet at the bottom to prevent that shrink wrap from making any contact with the convection oven okay so you don't want that shrink wrap to touch any parts because it will melt all right so we're gonna let this stand here for about four to five minutes and we'll take it out all right, guys, so we got this out of our oven, and it was in there for five minutes, and we are going to see how it turns out. And I'm using my weeder, but be careful when you're using these that you don't scratch your your tumbler. Alright, so we are going to remove the butcher paper and then we will see our design. You can still see it a little bit in the back. I mean, I'm going to be very careful the way that I take this off, especially in case you need to put it back into the oven. So you want to be very careful with how you remove the image, just in case. You never know, okay? But it looks like I am pretty pleased with that. There is very little ink left onto this paper. And here we have our cup. So what we need to do next is we need to sit this under light. Okay, so I'm going to place this under light for a few minutes and that will actually help to 
ignite whatever is needed for it to glow in the dark. All right, y'all. So that's it for subbing onto this glow in the dark tumbler. It came out really nicely and I wasn't convinced that it was actually going to glow in the dark and it does glow in the dark to like a light green or light blue color and I absolutely love them. If you like these tumblers also, I will have the link to my vendor in the description below. Of course, you have to buy in bulk. Um, so that's the only thing. If you want to buy these individually, I will be ordering some from my vendor for my Etsy shop, Dynamic Print Supply. So be on the lookout for these. But I like them. I'll probably be making more of these glow in the dark tumblers. Also, as I stated before, I am going to give away these two tumblers to one of you guys if you are interested. So in order to get one of these tumblers, you just need to leave a comment below and I will do a random pick on Friday. Okay, on Friday, March 12th, I will pick who will win these two tumblers. So be on the lookout for a reply from me on your comment telling you whether or not these belong to you, okay? This is limited to people who reside inside of the United States, all right? So that's it for today, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video. Also, if you are not already, make sure that you are a subscriber to this channel and head over to our Facebook group, like us on Facebook, and I would love to have you all on Teach, Craft, Live, my new vlogging channel. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Mm -hmm.